All right. So what you watched looks familiar? Right? All right. So let me ask you a question. How many of you have faced such problems being a buyer or being a merchant or even being a solution partner? Anyone? Yes. So good morning, friends. Thank you for joining me today here for this session. I am Nitin Jain, a proud member of this amazing community out here. I hope you all had a good start of this event and geared up to take some good insights from here today. Today's presentation is more than just a series of slides. It is going to be conversational, an exchange of ideas, and an opportunity to learn. As we navigate through this presentation, I encourage you to engage, ask questions, and let the curiosity guide us. We live in a time of constant change and innovation, and innovation will be the heart of my presentation today. So if you talk about agenda, so we are going to quickly touch base on the current state of the e-commerce. We will look at key challenges, which I am sure we all must be facing. And then we will look at how AI can help us solving those challenges, and followed by Q&A. Right. So to begin with, let's take a look at how much the e-commerce market has grown so far, and how it is projected to be growing, how it is projected to grow further Let's see. As of 2022, the global e-commerce market size was valued at $14 trillion. And to give you a context, what that means, let me mention the total size of Indian economy as per the current data is $4 trillion, which itself speaks how big the e-commerce market is today. Now going further, it is projected to hit around $57 trillion by 2032. As we can see, a huge growth is expected in next eight years, but growth comes with some challenges. All right. So let me, share, uh, let me shed some light on the challenges that we all should be prepared for in order to grow with this pace of e-commerce market growth. To make it simple, let's categorize these challenges into a couple of broader categories. One of the biggest factor is user experience. And I hope we can't deny this fact. And a lot is covered in it, starting from finding the right product, insufficient product information, and high cart abandonment rates. Second being the competition. Agreed? So these are the challenges we face. Be it is a pricing strategy, marketing tactics, or even abundant cart rates. Now this lands me to the third key challenge, which is customer trust and security. The level of fraudulent activities and use of innovative technologies in cyber fraud has made it a serious challenge and concern these days. Then comes supply chain disruption, which requires a lot of predictive analysis in order to keep the balance between supply and demand. And last but not least is operational efficiency, which includes writing good product content, handling customer queries, and performing various marketing activities. The video I played in the beginning also highlighted some of these challenges and I'm sure, being from this industry, you all must be facing such, such challenges. But do we have a solution to these challenges? Can AI help overcoming these challenges? For sure, technological innovation has made it possible to solve these problems up to a great extent. We all know how 
AI is changing our lives, how it has an impact on whatever we do in our day-to-day -day activities. I would like to share how AI can fuel e-commerce growth and help us overcoming these challenges with the help of some real-life examples. And let's begin with this small video again. Lead our voice enabled the unbought helping customers for seamless purchase of product. He is Jack, a customer on our e-commerce site, seeks the ideal gift for his loved one. But, hi there. How can I assist you today? Jack, I'm looking for a special anniversary gift for my partner. Bob, wonderful. Could you please tell me more about your partner's interests or preferences? Jack, says a few words. Bob, recommends a few products based on the past history and preference shared by Jack. Take a look. Jack, I like this one. Bob, great choice. Let's make the checkout process a breeze. Would you like to create an account or proceed as a guest? Jack, I'll create an account. Bob, would you like to scan your business card to automatically create an account and save other information? Jack scans the business card. Bob, excellent. Your account is set up and verified. And shipping address has also been set up. Shipping information is pulled and saved automatically on customer's behalf. Bob, now, let's complete your purchase. Could you scan your credit card from both sides for a secure and effortless payment? Jack scans the credit card, and the chatbot processes the payment. Bob, thank you. Your payment is confirmed. Your special gift is on its way. So, what we saw in this video is not fictional. With the power of AI, the whole shopping experience can be made seamless and effortless. We all go to supermarkets, right? And we buy different type of things. Imagine, and sometimes we miss to have someone who can guide us to find out what we need because there are so many rows, so many queues. And now, if you get someone to help you there and uh, finding your product which you are looking for and even help you with the checkout. Isn't it going to be seamless experience for those supermarkets? Imagine, similarly, imagine how seamless the shopping experience can be if as soon as you land on an e-commerce website on your phone or any device, and you get a private assistant who can help you finding the right product, answer any queries you may have about delivery, payments, even product reviews. And assistant also helps you to set up an account and even purchase, even make a purchase while you're on the go. Yes, AI can make this possible. In this example of the video which we saw, what exactly happened? We had an AI bot to provide a no-code intuitive chat interface, which was plugged with AI-based speech-to-text and text-to-speech service in a very simple language. It was also equipped with AI-based personalized recommender to utilize customer's profile and historical data. That way only this bot was able to help the customer finding what customer is looking for. Then it was loaded with the product catalog to be able to look through various product options you have in your e-commerce. Once that is done, it was further provided, be, uh, it was further provided by AI-based services again. So there is a service called Form Recognizer, which helps you to be able to scan the card and extract the details and process the checkout. So in this whole video experience, this is a journey which we saw, which could be made so easy. Now let me add, this experience can be made further, I would say, extended. And uh, imagine, uh, you get a human-like customer service executive and in terms of bot, and this bot is fed with multiple documents having various policies, company information, product Q&A, even your software user guide. 
then it automatically extracts all the documents and convert them into the structural information. Now this bot will be able to easily handle customer queries which they are asking in their natural language and provide relevant answers. And we have many such great AI services readily available from most of the big cloud service providers. So let's take a look. Adobe Sensi, we all know Adobe Sensi, yes? yes? Right, so Adobe Sensi provides various capabilities such as live search, personalized recommender, uh, recommender, sorry, and analytic services. Similarly, we must all be aware about Azure. Azure has a service called Azure Bot Service, Form Recognizer, and Speech Service. And I'm sure many of us may have already used Amazon services as well. For example, Amazon Lex, Text Tract, Poly, and Amazon Personalize. And this list, list goes on. Now let me take you to another example where AI again help overcoming a challenge of e-commerce. Welcome to the world of AI. Today, we're going to explore the seamless and personalized experience of leaving a product review. Meet Sarah, a valued customer of an e-commerce brand. After making a recent purchase, she receives a friendly prompt to share her thoughts on the product. With just a tap, Sarah easily selects her rating, expressing her overall satisfaction with the purchase using buttons. Now, here's where the magic happens. AI creates a personalized text review for Sarah based on her past reviews. AI understands Sarah's preferences and based on that creates a review in line with her interests. Sarah's unique customer profile provides insights into her past interactions, helping the AI craft a review that aligns with her preferences and shopping behavior. Considering Sarah's age and gender, the AI tailors the language and tone of the review, making it relatable and engaging for her. Voila! In just a few moments, the AI generates a personalized, text-based review that reflects Sarah's experience that feels authentic to her. And there you have it. Sarah's effortless journey from a simple rating to a uniquely crafted review and submitting it on the site. Thanks to the power of AI. As per the research, 95% of the shoppers look at product reviews before they make a purchase. This proves that we can't deny the importance of product reviews. Let me ask a question. What are the first few things you look at when you go on an e-commerce website to buy something? Okay. Number of? Okay. Yeah. Anyone else? What do you look at when you go on an e-commerce website to buy a product? What are the most important factors? All right. Let me share. So the very first thing, of course, a customer look at product information. Then comes pricing and promotion. But simultaneously, customer would also look at reviews and rating. And I can see we all agree that how important reviews and ratings are for e-commerce. Not having reviews or having less review is a pain for every e-commerce, right? Let me ask another question. How many of you have posted a review on any e-commerce website in last few months? All right, so as I expected, the response is limited. It is a human tendency to voice dissatisfaction through negative reviews, while positive experiences are usually not shared. Even when customer wants to provide the review, but primary obstacle from doing so is what? 
time constraints and mental barrier about how to articulate what I'm thinking about this product, right? So as we saw into this video, as soon as a customer is notified, whatever the way, email or your pop-up of the application to provide the review, AI can greatly help them to write the reviews in no time using customer's profile, past orders, browsing history, and star rating customer chooses. Not only that, the whole process can be automated faster. Once the review has been posted, it requires manual review and approval, which generally merchant would do uh, before it gets published. Moderator needs to ensure that there is no offensive language, there is no abusive language, and it is not unrelated. But AI can do this very effectively. And it does not end here. AI can also do sentiment analysis to understand the reason of this low ranking or so-called negative review and send customized emails to the customer and bring their satisfaction back. So you don't have to manually keep a track of every review, even if it is negative. AI can help you doing this. There are many such AI services available which can analyze the reviews and the patterns and then automatically tailor a customized message or email or a campaign and send to those customers and even gather further insights about what is the reason why this customer had negative feeling about my website or my e-commerce or my product. And then it definitely will bring back the customer trust and uh, you know retention. So once we start getting sufficient reviews, again, it, is, it does not end here when I'm talking about AI. Once you start getting enough product reviews, then the another problem is there are so many reviews uh, on the product and customer again are confused, you know, because again it, ne it needs time to read all the reviews. You can look at the star rating of course, but people would also like to read the reviews. Now, AI can also help you summarizing those reviews using auto summarization AI services and display them on the top of product pages. So you, you just have to read the summary. Do you know any renowned e-commerce brand using auto summarization already? Wonderful, absolutely. So Amazon does it. So I have a small example of a product and it helps a lot. Just on the top of the review, you just see the auto summarization and boom. Okay, apart from reviews automation and enhanced shopping experience, there are many other areas where AI can help e-commerce. But because of time constraint, of course, I cannot cover everything, so I have covered few more. Fraud detection, which is a key problem today. As per the stat I gathered, because of the e-commerce fraud, businesses have lost approximately $48 billion till 2023. There are many AI solutions available to prevent it up to a great extent. To name a few, there is a AI service provided by Azure that is called Azure Anomaly Detector. Amazon also has a service called Amazon Fraud Detector. And I think we all know, we keep getting inquiries from our prospective customers about how they can prevent their website from carding attacks. It is clear now how important it is to have customer trust and security, you know, with this whole fraud which is going on. Another application of AI is to improve operational efficiencies, which is required in every business today. AI can help in solving day-to-day -day operational overheads using AI-based content writing, customer service automation, and predictive analysis. As an example, there are so many merchants who do catalog management manually. They use content writers, they use proofreaders. But this can be potent partially or fully automated using the power of AI. Then it comes to search, which can be powered by AI. And there are many services again available, as I mentioned, Adobe Live Search, powered by Adobe Sensei, 
Azure has a service called Azure Cognitive Search and there are many more. So, so far we have seen various challenges and various applications of AI to overcome those challenges. Now to validate that, whatever we have discussed, is it real? I would like you to take a look at some growing contribution of AI in the e-commerce market with the help of some stats. As you can see, e-commerce with AI-based personalization sees 6 to 10 percent growth, sales growth, which is 2 to, two, two to 3 times faster than others. Talking about sales, 35 percent of Amazon sales were generated through AI-based recommendations. And if you look at operational cost, by 2030, AI is projected to reduce operational cost by 30% for e-commerce. And in case you are wondering, right now the AI-enabled e-commerce market size is approximately 5 billion dollar, which is projected to be worth 16 billion dollar by 2030. So what has been discussed today is food for thought to relate and connect to the problems of the e-commerce and the potential of AI to overcome these challenges. And I hope you delve into it further to harness in your e-commerce endeavors. On that note, I open the stage for Q&A. If anyone has any question, please ask. We have, I think, two, three minutes left. Right, Manish? Yeah. yeah. Any questions? Feel free to ask. Any questions? Yeah. Okay, so I have a question, you know, like uh, we belong from different company and every uh, company have a different culture in way of office speaking or everything like uh, ge geographical, you can say. So how we can feed our information or our culture to this AI? Like can it help us in, to understand our thing and reply yeah. accordingly? Yeah. No. Because it's important. No, I understand. I think that's a valid question. So, these AI services do not work on their own data, right? So, all these AI services can be fed with your own information. You, in, you feed in your product catalog, you feed in your FAQs, you feed in your support guides, documents, and you feed in even uh, your, uh, I would say, payment and shipping information. And then these AI services automatically extract all the information and convert them into meaningful Q&A. Within, the, within their repository, which can be further trained and modified based on the way you want this uh, bot to behave. Does it make sense? Yeah. Thanks. All right. So I think we are done on, on the that time. note, I guess, if there is no more question and we are also running out of time, I would say thank you for being a, such a great audience. And I thoroughly enjoyed talking to you all. And if there are any more questions, feel free to connect with me during the event. And I'm here whole day and you can also reach out to me over email, LinkedIn and our website of course. Thank you. Thank you Nitin. Uh, thank you for sharing all the insight about the power of AI. Yes, uh, AI is uh, everywhere we see in our daily life AI is taking over, right? So that, is, that was a good session. Thank you Nitin. Thank you once again. Thank you.